Hello everyone, welcome to the Atlanta Brick Co. Hall. We've got another pile of Lego to look at. It's Monday, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, we got a pretty good pile of stuff to look at. Let's, uh, let's start over here, shall we? We've got a bunch of smaller city sets and it seems like they've got the pieces inside but they've been re-taped up. So those might be put out for sale as is unless they're older and collectible and we can kind of justify inventorying them and putting them out as certified sets. We'll see more city on the website regardless. Um, we've got a Captain America shield underneath some other boxes here. Got a few other smaller Marvel vehicles down there, a little poly bag. Um, we had a Vladek here, but he's missing his shield. And that's kind of an important piece to the figure. So we're putting him, I think he's gonna be an as-is set online. So if you wanna just get Vladek, Without his shield, he'll be available for a discounted rate in the as-is department. You got a friend's bus here. I like that set a lot. That's pretty cool. You've got a couple smaller vehicles here from what looks like Batman and Marvel and such. Got some Harry Potter boxes here. Got a slave one, an Adidas shoe. It's already priced at 60. Got a little bit of speed champions here. A first order TIE fighter. Um, some other space sets back there. I think those might have been from last week. Got a really cool remote control car here, this old one with the uh, leopard <laughs> leopard print uh, spoiler is pretty interesting. Apparently it does not work. Maybe the person who traded in was able to inform us. I'm not sure where that came from. We might uh, see if we can clean it out, change the batteries. Maybe we can revive it, we'll see. Got Poe's X-Wing fighter over here. A Minecraft set in the back. Is there any pieces in there? That might just be a box. You've got uh, a somewhat beat up Pharaoh's Quest Pyramid right here as well. That's a really big Ninjago car compared to like a Speed Champion. That's interesting. <laughs> got Ray Speeder over there. You got some Ninjago crystallized environment here. It's missing some of those big crystal pieces though. So I would have liked to see those. That might end up going into bulk perhaps because it's not super complete. Got a TIE Bomber over here. A Micro Millennium Falcon right there. The ugliest ATST from the first order ever. Little Minecraft scene already priced at $30. It's got the Minecraft bunny with a little fence for them to go in and a little sunflower. It's pretty cool. Lex Luthor mech. You've got, uh, that was the Emperor's tie modified ship, I believe. That's pretty cool. International Space Station. Feels like it's in there with the instructions. It's a pretty heavy set. Got a light year jet there. Another Ninjago temple scene. A Technic truck here, a fire truck. Ew, Nexonites. We got some Nexonites here too. Um, there's a King Matthias figure, which is really cool, but he is also missing his shield. Whoever traded both of these in must have saved the shields out, which is kind of annoying. There's also a fabric cape there that's very useful that's not in there. He'll probably end up as an as is set as well, or maybe out in the case for a discounted rate. You got a buildable Joker figure, that's terrifying. Um, we got some classic pirates back here. Those I think were from last week, but uh, either way, they're pretty cool looking. They're a little disheveled, so we'll try and fix them up, but I think that's the Imperial Trading Post over a couple base plates there. I could be wrong. Um, you got a Kylo Ren fighter with some white accents. I don't remember that from the movie, but I think that's a custom mock version. And one more First Order Walker thing that was supposed to be in the movie, but never made the cut. Made it a somewhat confusing Lego set for some fans. Down here, over here, we've got some boxed sets with pieces inside. So these are, some of these are, might be certified complete later. Some of them might be put out for sale as is in the basement or online. There's a Lego Movie 2. You got some Harry Potter, Ninjago. I saw some weird ones down here, though. You got some Star Wars and even some Bionicle and a Porg down there. So Bionicle and Porg, things you never thought you'd see together. More Star Wars, Marvel, Disney Princesses, Technic, Batman, Star Wars. Just a lot of kind of cool stuff, so... Very interesting themes. Oh, there's a Cole's Quake mech as well. A lot of pieces in that set. 
And then behind me here, we've got more of the same. So basically a box set, but it's just loose pieces on the inside. So a lot of work that needs to be done. These will probably all be put for sale as is condition on the website. So major savings, but that we can't really guarantee they're complete. So there's the Pac-Man set. We got several modulars. I don't think we see a lot of as-is modular buildings on our website, so that, that'll be a new addition there. Some big collectible-ish ones. But these are all still really close to retail, so they just don't quite justify our employees' time to certify them if we're just going to sell them for retail price. So that's why they'll be probably put as-is. Got some Indiana Jones sets down in this box down here. Some pretty cool ones from the different movies. No figures, though. And we've got a built palace cinema looking really good. Very nice condition, not too dusty. We've also got a detective's office, another super popular one. Right down there as well. So two nice built modulars. Those will go up for sale on the shelves up here. And last but not least, we have a Millennium Falcon. We've got some pirates. I think that was possibly also from last week. Got a clone turbo tank, which is very nice. And a little bit more of the newer Indiana Jones over there on the left. And a few Lego boxes, which I don't think have any pieces inside of them. But that should be about it for up here. Oh, I almost forgot the giant uh, Rolling Stones logo, of course. That's actually a pretty cool mosaic. But besides that, I think that's it for up here. Let's go take a look at a few of the things. I think I know we have one or two cool sets and some minifigures to check out as well. This last weekend, we actually sold more sets than we got in. But one set that we got in that we haven't seen in quite a while is the Imperial Flagship, which is a truly special and spectacular Lego set. Uh, I was I was hanging out with a couple Lego friends this weekend, last Sunday night, yesterday night, and we were just talking about this one as being one that we wish we had bought because it's so cool and very collectively expensive. This is a $1,500 set, new sealed. It's in very good condition. Has some amazing figures and tons of amazing pieces, especially those fabric sales. So if this is on your white whale list, we've got it. And uh, it probably won't last that long. I would say give it a week and it'll probably be gone. So uh, very cool to see this one come back in. All right, we are down here in the basement where we got our minifigures, but we also got a couple cool as-is sets that have already been processed, put in here, going to be added to the online inventory shortly. The one I wanted to point out for you guys was this Emerald Knight. So it is, of course, not 100% complete. It's just the engine and the coal car. The uh, passenger car is not there. I think that's one of the more desirable parts of this train because it only came with one passenger car. But if you need an engine there, or replacement parts for an engine, this is going to be much more affordable than usual on, on our website, atlbrick.com. I also like the Joker Lowrider down here, and that one has figures in there. That this might have to be... You normally try to sell these without figures so they're more affordable, but... Um, two cool sets, definitely worth checking out. But let's have a look at these figures, shall we? One thing that really stood out to me was the presence of two polar bears. The newer polar bear design that uh, can rear back on his back legs. That's super cool. So two of those back here. Looking pretty cool. Got a bunch of husky dogs here too. Very cute. They're not the blue eye variant. They're the, the black eye, but they're pretty cool. Got Han Solo in Carbonite. Got a bunch of Arctic figures. You got some Star Wars, a few Batman characters in here. A few Star Wars down there. There's an Imperial Guard. <laughs> There's the mayor figure from the Batman movie. There's the Flash. Some Star Wars pilots. Ooh, the old Mandalorian figure. Pretty cool. The micro figures to the helicarrier. Very nice. So lots and lots of good uh, figures in here. I see some Ferris Quest. There's a few Ferris Quest. There's Omset Ra. There's the Anubis Guard figure there too. There's a the second one there. Very nice. And a few more Star Wars down the bottom. This bag over here that I moved earlier has a bunch of stuff too. You got some City. You got Emmett. You got some Batman and Star Wars. There's Rey. 
We got a Death Trooper, very cool. We got Jin Urso with her poncho, some more DC figures in there. So just a lot of stuff. A couple more Star Wars Jedi figures in there. This Anakin. Very, very cool. So a lot of uh, variety of figures here. There's a couple of what looks like mostly Star Wars figures. You got some Mandalorian figures. A couple clone troopers. Iron Man sneaking his way in there too. Well, there's the new uh, Stormtrooper Commando figures from the Battle Pack. That's fun to see. You got the uh, the guard figure here. What did you get? Praetorian Guard? The awesome helmet. That's pretty neat. Who is this? Is this uh Oh! It's Andor trying to use his pistol. You got uh, some Lightyear figures. There's one of the new Night Owl Mandalorian figures. There's the Mandalorian Warrior. Some Marvel down there too. Pretty cool. Good. Oh, 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 hold on. There's the Golden Idol from Indiana Jones. That's pretty cool. Um, you got Beast. You got Harry Potter. You got some video figures in there. You got some accessories in a... Uh, a venomized Iron Man figure. You've also got the giant redstone golem from Minecraft. That's a pretty cool giant figure. You got the gas as well. And some Lord of the Rings figures sneaking in there on the bottom. There's some of the cool um, goblin figures. Got a little bit of Harry Potter, a little bit of Star Wars. And the dead eyed Mario figure. Lovely. All right. <coughs> But that is about it for the figures. Definitely some good ones to look forward to. Some new additions from newer sets. Good to see. They'll all be available on atlbrick.com, of course. And that's about it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll be back with more videos later this week.